Good morning children. Welcome back to English class. Do you remember what we learned in the last class? Yes, we studied pronouns, object pronouns. Which are the object pronouns we studied? Me, us, you, him, her, it, them. All these are object pronouns. These pronouns receive and Action. We will not begin a sentence with these pronouns except you and it. Isn't it? With you and it we can begin a sentence. With all other object pronouns we will not begin a sentence. Okay. They are receiving an action. Such pronouns are receiving action. So we will not begin the sentence with object pronouns. What are pronouns? Yeah, pronouns are words that are used in the place of naming words. Naming words, you know. Names of places, things, animals and persons. So, words used in the place of naming words instead of naming words are called pronouns. Okay, we studied many pronouns. Okay, so these are object pronouns. So, we were learning that in the last class. With I pronoun. When I pronoun is used, we use the object pronoun me. Receiving an action. When I receive an action, I say, I use the word me. Okay. We. We means I and somebody else. When two persons are there, it is plural. Okay. So, when we receive an action, we say, we can use us, you, you itself. The object pronoun is also you itself. For he pronoun, he is used in the place of a man or a boy. When a man or a boy receives an action, we use the object pronoun him. For she, we use her. For it, it is used for Animals of things. We use it itself. The object pronoun is it itself. They. They. Okay. Somebody else. It's also plural. We use them as object pronoun. When they receive an action, we use the object pronoun them. Okay. So all these are object pronouns. We studied this. Okay children. Now there are some exercises in your textbook. We'll do that today. Okay. So, lesson 8 from your grammar textbook. Chapter 8. Page number 24. We read all these examples. You should read it thoroughly. Okay. Now, right in corner. Look at the A exercise. Fill in the blanks with me, us, you, him, her, it, them. All these object pronouns. Mom, today is Sita's birthday. What should I give? Dash. What will be the answer? Just guess. Sita's birthday. Okay, so we should give her. Sita is a girl. Okay, so we should gift her. So, Mom, today is Sita's birthday. What should I give her? That is the answer. That is the pronoun we should use. Okay, write the answer there children. So in exercise first answer is her. Sita. Okay, now second one. Are you going along? Dash have many friends. Take Dash along with you. So are you going along? So somebody is asking you or your mother is asking you. Are you going along? You have many friends. Okay, you have many friends. Take. Then instead of friends, what will we use? Take them. Okay, friends. Plural. Take them along with you. You have many friends. Take them along with you. Okay, so the second one answers are you. First, capital letter Y. Beginning of a sentence. And in the second blank you will write them instead of friends 
we are using them friends means they so them now third one the ship is sailing in water ship okay dash is a big ship so in this sentence we are talking about ship so what pronoun should be used yeah it it can come at the beginning you also can come at the beginning of the sentence it can also come so when we talk about ship it is a big ship okay now fourth one i don't drink tea give dash a cup of coffee so talking about myself okay i am the receiver of the action i don't drink tea give give you should give me okay instead of i we should use me i am the receiver not instead of i i am the receiver no so we should use the object pronoun me give me a cup of no coffee we cannot say give i a cup of coffee we will not say that's a wrong usage so we should say give me a cup of coffee okay so the answer is me okay now fifth one today is sunday let dash go shopping so your parents are saying ha huh? today is sunday let dash go shopping so there are many people in the family so what will your father say let us okay let us all go for shopping let us go for shopping you should read the sentence completely after that you should think and write okay today is sunday let dash go shopping let us go shopping okay now sixth one this lake is so beautiful let dash go boating so i'm telling my parents we are going for a tour so i'm asking i'm asking my father this lake is so beautiful let me go boating so i'm asking my father let me go boating so the answer is me okay you should read the whole sentence and you should apply each pronoun there okay some sentences will be confusing so you should think and write okay children so here the sentence is this lake is so beautiful let me go boating okay me is the answer now 7 to 13 that's a homework for you okay you should do as assignment from question number 7 to 13 okay children read the sentence completely and then think and write now b exercise tick the correct answer these plants are so dry we should water dash daily these plants okay so there are so many plants so you understood it is plural so can we use me there the options are me and them water me daily we won't say you know that so what will be the answer water them plants means they them water them so who is receiving the action yeah plants so the answer will be them very good so b exercise first answer is them now second one akshay is a naughty boy nobody wants to play with him yeah akshay is a boy nobody wants to play with him that is a answer very easy no now my neighbors are very kind they dash when i am alone at home they help you or me when i am alone so who is receiving the action me isn't it i am receiving the action so the pronoun should be me okay the answer is me my neighbors are helping me okay now fourth one rita has a doll she plays with dash all the time it or them a doll so it is not plural them cannot be used doll is a thing so what should be used it very good so the answer is it rita plays with it 
all the time. Now, 5 to 10. All these questions you should do as a homework. It's very easy, isn't it? Just choose the correct answer. Read the sentence properly and choose the correct option. Okay, children. So, you should read this chapter A thoroughly. B, thorough with the object pronouns. Okay, and do all the exercise questions. See you in the next class. Thank you.